Hi everyone, it's Bob with SaleTechProductions.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at fixing audio dropouts in Logic Pro X. So what I have pulled up here is a solo acoustic guitar track, and it's performed by one of my clients, Richard. The performance was captured on video, and the audio was synced in post-production after we discovered the dropout. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I fixed it. But first of all, what is a dropout? Well, it's exactly what the name suggests. It's a drop in the audio signal. And this can be caused by lack of computer processing power, performance issues with your audio interface, buffer size set too low in your DAW. And in my case, I had the buffer size set low for a previous session to counteract latency issues with a vocal recording. For this video, we captured three microphones and a DI track simultaneously, which may have contributed to the dropout. So let me play the dropout for you and you can hear what it sounds like. So you can see um, I have a marker right here that says dropout. And then where the playhead is, you can see the waveform. There's a little um, cut in it right there. And here's what it sounds like. It's kind of subtle. So you heard that little dropout there. I'll play it one more time. And if we zoom in here, you can see what a dropout looks like. It's just a lack of a waveform right there. Now, I always record an electric guitar with a direct box for resampling if needed. And in this case, it was real easy to see the dropout on this DI track. So that's what you're looking at now. Now, one way to try to fix this issue is with the file editor. I've not had good luck with using that method. Also keep in mind that the file editor is a destructive edit. So you can try to go in there and try to reshape the waveform or try to redraw it, but be careful with doing that if you're gonna go that route because it is destructive. So it would really be bad to try to fix your dropout or your audio artifact to find out you just lost the whole audio file. I like staying in the arrange window as it's a non-destructive way of fixing a problem like this. I'm just going to cut into this. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm just going to make a, a, a cut right here. And you can see that now I can grab this and I can move things around. And let's say I, I make more cuts. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. Let's say I make another cut here. And then I take this and delete it. I was like, oh no. And then maybe I made a mistake and deleted this whole thing. It's like, oh, this is bad. Well, I can still grab this. You can see there right here is the dropout again. And then I have the rest of the audio file. I can just drag it out and continue all the way to the end of the song. Now, before we do anything else, let me zoom in here and explain a couple other things. When you see this waveform, you see a horizontal line here, and let's just call that the zero crossing line or the neutral line. And when the waveform goes up, it goes positive, it crosses the zero, what we're gonna call zero crossing point, and then it goes negative. So when we make our cuts and when we put things together, we're gonna to try to do it around this neutral line here or the zero crossing point. You'll have less pops and clicks if you edit in such a manner. Now, one way we could fix this pretty darn quick, I'm gonna zoom in here before the dropout, and you can see, looks like I'm right at the zero crossing point here. I'm gonna move the playhead to the zero crossing point, and then I'm just going to split it playhead, and so I've, I have a cut there. And then I'm gonna come over here, and you can see where I cut it, it was going positive here, so the next place I'm going to cut it is where it also goes positive. So I can just slide this region over and it should match. So there's my cut, hit the delete key. And now all I have to do, you can see where this was negative and now it's going to go positive and here it's positive. And so now all I have to do is just pull those over there and kind of match them up. Now zoom in a little bit and you can see I have a, a nice match there somewhere around the zero crossing point. Now, let me zoom back out and we'll just take a listen to this. 
don't even notice it. Now, the problem with this, remember I took this left side of this region and moved it over and the rest of the audio file downline from here in the timeline is now moved. And since this is synced to video, now keep in mind, this is milliseconds, so you probably wouldn't even notice it. But what I prefer to do on audio that synced to video is not take this and drag it over. What I would do is just cut out a piece of it, replace this blank space with some audio so I don't have a timing issue or a sync issue in the video. All right, I'm gonna undo this. So now I'm back here to my original cuts. Still gonna delete that. But now instead of dragging this left edge over, I'm gonna keep this in place so I don't have my sync issue. So I'm gonna keep this left edge here going positive because I'm gonna stick it over there. Find an, a place to cut right about in here. So I'm just gonna go to this negative piece right here. Split it playhead. Now I'm holding down the option key, so I'm copying this. As I pull it to the left, it makes a copy of it, and then I can let go of it, and it pastes it right there. So the left edge, I'm gonna line it up, and then I'm gonna start dragging this to see, looks like a good place to put it. It's at a zero crossing point. And on the right edge, I'm just looking for a good place, like right there, that's in a zero crossing point. That's a good place to do that edit. Now, remember I said this was a non-destructive edit. So also, if I take this left edge, I could pull it over far enough to find the dropout again, right? So I want to be careful about doing that. So now what I have here is a space filled up with some audio that won't create a problem with the gap. Let's take a listen. Didn't even hear it. Let's try it again. There you go, guys. A great way to non-destructively fix your audio dropouts or artifacts in your recording. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.